Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. With the holiday season coming up real quick, I figured I'd go ahead and get a little holiday gift guide out of the way. Now this is going to really refer to people who are into the Raspberry Pi or want to get into the Raspberry Pi or other single board computers. There's tons of ideas out there, but recently I've had a few comments on people asking me what they should pick up their significant other for the upcoming holiday. So I've gone through and handpicked 12 different items that I think would be good gift ideas. And first up, obviously, since we're dealing with single board computers here, the Raspberry Pi 4. I mean, you really can't go wrong with this. This is the 8 gigabyte model. They're 75 bucks. You can get the 4 gigabyte model for 55, but I'm sure a lot of people who are wanting to get into a Raspberry Pi might want the 8 gigabyte model. Now they do sell these on Amazon, but they are about $89. So I'd recommend finding another site. You can actually head over to Raspberry Pi's website and find the closest distributor near you. But yeah, I mean, you really can't go wrong with just a Raspberry Pi, be it a four gigabyte model or an eight gigabyte model. Next on the list, we're still here with the Raspberry Pi, but this is actually a full kit with the eight gigabyte Raspberry Pi. Now you can actually save seven bucks on Amazon with this. It's $140. It's the Canna kit version. Comes with everything you need to get up and running with the Raspberry Pi 4, minus the display. All they'll need to do, plug it into a monitor or a television, and they can be up and running in no time. So this is really just for the beginner, in my opinion, because it does come with everything you're gonna need for the Raspberry Pi. So this one here is the Canna kit version with the eight gigabyte Raspberry Pi. 140. If you want to go a little cheaper with it, you can actually pick up this version here that comes with the 4 gigabyte Raspberry Pi. This is the starter kit. Comes with basically everything that the other kit did, except the Raspberry Pi 4 here is the 4 gigabyte model, and it's actually a lot cheaper. 114 with 15% off if you have Prime. Next up, we have the Odroid C4. It's not exactly a Raspberry Pi, but if your significant other or the person you're shopping for already has a Raspberry Pi, and they've kind of been wanting to get into another single board computer, I would highly recommend the C4. Coming in at $64 with four gigs of RAM, it's got great Android support. They do have a bunch of different operating systems available for it. And if they're already familiar with using a Raspberry Pi, they won't have any issue at all getting this up and running. Next up, we have the NVIDIA Jetson Nano 2 gigabyte model. Now this is another single board computer. It's not a Raspberry Pi, but it does put out a lot more power. Unfortunately, we only have one operating system available for this right now, but this is actually a really awesome board if somebody wants to get into AI development. And this is the base kit here for $60. It's the two gigabyte version, comes with the board itself and a power supply. All you're gonna need is a display and a micro SD card. You can have this thing going in no time. Coming in with some accessories for the RAS, one of my favorite cases on the market right now, the Retro Flag Raspberry Pi 4 case. This is the Nest Pi 4 case. It's got safe shutdown and it does come with this cartridge here that you can add an SSD to. So if you wanna add external storage to this unit or it would more likely be internal because this goes right inside of the case itself, you can do it very easily. And this is great for running operating systems like Vatocera, Retro Pi, or, or even Recall Box. And at 40 bucks, I really do think this is worth it. Comes with a heatsink, USB Type-C power supply, the SSD cartridge. Now it doesn't come with an SSD. We'll have to add that later on down the road. And it also comes with the case itself. As you can see, it's very reminiscent of the NES. Now, if the person you're shopping for really isn't into retro gaming and they're using more of a desktop operating system with the Raspberry Pi, I would recommend the Argon One. They actually make two different versions of this. They have the Argon One M.2, and this will allow you to install an M.2 SSD. This is the newest model on the market, coming in at $45. You can get the last model with no M.2 support out of the box for $25, so I'll leave a link for that in the description also. But this is an absolutely amazing case. It's got a safe shutdown built in, full-size HDMI ports, and this will keep your Raspberry Pi cool even when it's overclocked. Now you really can't go wrong with SD cards. I'm losing them all the time. I got a couple single board computers. I always need SD cards. For the last few months, I've personally been using the Silicon Power Cards and you can pick up two 128 gigabyte cards for $28 right now on Amazon. I've actually gotten a few of these here, the 128s, but personally, since I do test out a lot of single board computers and things like that, I'm actually always losing cards. I went with the new pack here, which is 10 64 gigabyte card, coming in at $78, and this has definitely been a lifesaver. Whenever I lose a card, or I just don't wanna copy over a card that I already have with a newer operating system that's been released, I just grab another card because I got a 10 pack of them. 
and at $78 for 10 64 gigabyte cards, I do think that this is a great deal. But not everybody's going to need 10 micro SD cards. If you have more than three or four single board computers, I would definitely recommend picking up this pack here. The next one here really isn't a single board computer, but it is powered by a pretty powerful ARM chip. This is the Nvidia Shield Android TV. Now, this rarely goes on sale, and I wish that this could be gotten before January 1st, but with $20 off at $179, this is one of the best deals that I've seen on this since it was released at the beginning of 2020. And this is actually one of my personal favorite Android TVs that's ever been released. It's an awesome setup. You can do emulation on it. You can do 4K video playback from basically any app, Netflix, YouTube, Hulu, HBO Max, and everything like that. It just all works with the Shield, and it does have great long-term support built in. Now that $180 still is a bit expensive for an Android TV, so the next thing I would recommend is the new Google Chromecast with Google TV built in. It's definitely not as powerful as the Nvidia Shield Android TV, but if the person you're shopping for has been asking about an Android TV, I think this is definitely one to pick up. Coming in at $49.99, this is one of my favorites of 2020. And finally on the list, the one that everybody's been wanting, but unfortunately it's basically sold out everywhere right now, the Raspberry Pi 400. Now you can actually reserve these from many different sites. You can pick up the full kit here, or you can just get the base model that comes with the keyboard itself. And if you're not familiar with this, it's a Raspberry Pi 4, 4 gigabyte model inside of a keyboard. And since this has been released, it's been in very high demand. Everybody wants to get their hands on a Raspberry Pi 400. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. Really appreciate you watching. I had a few viewers asking me about this, so I figured I'd go ahead and whip up a quick video. Hope you have some ideas now on what to get for the holiday season. And if you think I missed anything important or you've come across some really good deals, just leave it down in the comments below. I'm sure somebody can scroll through there and find something new. But that's it for this one. And like always, thanks for watching.